And here we are. Welcome, everybody. Six days a sacrifice. We're finally going to play the spooky game. So this is the fourth game in the series. After Trilby's Notes. Now, this game, from what I understand, takes place between uh, five and seven days. Which sounds obvious, but it's the fourth game, so it's a bit weird to think about it like that. Let's go. Let's get settled and have a comfy little evening stream. Yesterday I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame, and I saw the bridge created by one third. Tomorrow I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash, and I saw the bridge reduced or created by two thirds. Today the mind of the bridge keeper shall meet with its destiny, and I shall see the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name. For his great and his, his wisdom and his benevolence, the Book of the Bridge. I should have done this the moment you came into this world, demon child. May God forgive me for having a part in your creation. Why'd you kill me, brother? I helped you when you were injured. I bandaged you when our father made his mistake. Showing the end of uh, five and seven days here. Now do you see why I try to keep you away from this creature? It has no understanding of human ways. You're wrong, father. If you had even given him a chance to be normal. Cease your prattling, Matthew. It's time I put an end to the horror I unleashed. What are you doing, father? Father, no. Father. goes and the bones burn and then there's John destroying the idol super far off into the future one hundred ninety six later years later one hundred ninety six years earlier so we're still in the future, but not as far in the future as the, uh, the, the, the second game took place. Left click to walk, right click on hotspots to open the menu. All right. Sofa, eyes. Crushed leather, very nice, doesn't look like it's ever been used. Journal. Uh, how do I save? Cell phone. Don't think so. Converse. Oh, okay, it's at the top. Save. All right, just making sure I know the commands. So Trailby's Notes was like a text adventure game where you had to like actually type in commands. In this game, you actually it goes back to like uh, the the gameplay to five and seven. So who the hell am I? Let's find out. I don't know what to expect from this game. Some woman's magazine. Put here to put or help visitors pass the time, I guess. Plant. The climate controlled environment in here seems to be really making it flourish. Can't check the sign. Computer. Reception desk. It's 11 o'clock. Why wouldn't there be a receptionist at the desk? Pamphlet. Some kind of pamphlet on ophthalmology. Ophthalmology, yeah, that's the religion whose headquarters I am currently standing in. Oh, hang on a second. Pamphlet, can I take it? I'll add it to my journal. To reread items in your journal, click the journal button in the top menu or right click the journal icon in your inventory. Life becoming a struggle? Need a guiding hand? Want to be a part of the world's fastest growing family? Ophthalmology is a religion ca uh, catered for you, taking the best parts of all previous religions to make a great new way of thinking. Join ophthalmology today. Are you Mr. Uh, Garriott? Get out of my way, you fool. Mr. Garriott, I'm from the county council. What? My name's uh, DeCabe. I phoned you a week ago about running an inspection of your facilities. Oh, yes, I remember. The council's been informed that you may be extending your premises without planning permission. 
I just need to take a look around and make sure you aren't. Is it completely necessary? It's just a precaution, entirely routine. Could you come back another time? Well, actually, no. I have to get this done before the end of the week, and this is my only free time slot. I see. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all. Well, why don't I take you up in the elevator and we can tour the building? Let me guess, it's July 28th, isn't it? I'd be obliged. So, uh... Did I say his name right? Decabe? I've never seen that before. Where's the... What? Well, that was pretty rude. Day one. July 24th. Oh, it'll be July 28th soon enough. Year 2189. I told you, I have no idea who he is. Then why should you care? I'm a doctor, for God's sake. Seems terribly convenient. You don't think if he was our agent, we would find a way to get him down here without smashing him to pieces? Uh, Trilby's here? A broken neck is not something I call convenient. Don't think me a fool. He arrives now of all times, and you insist it's a coincidence? What else could it be? Ugh. He's awake? Can you hear me? Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? Decabe? Theodore Decabe. My name's uh, Samantha Hardy. What's happening? How much do you remember? Wait. Hardy is like, like Philip Har Hardy? Stop talking to him. I don't want either of you saying another word until my employer gets here. Hardy was a character in the first game. This man is seriously injured. He has to be returned to the surface and taken to a properly equipped hospital. Hospital. I will not tell you again. No one leaves. No one breathes a word until my employer tells me what is to be done. God damn you. Not a word. Alright, so... I have questions. She said her name was Samantha Hardy. Uh, there, there was a Philip Hardy in five days. And that's clearly Trilby. Like, that's just his sprite from Trilby's notes. But um, we're 196 years in the future, so he, I don't know how he's here. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay. Looks like it's been used to burn documents. Certainly looks like Trilby. Um, now... Uh, no one seemed to correct me when I said Decabe, so I'm assuming that's how I- I'm gonna keep saying his name like that, since no one <laughs> says it's wrong. But I've never heard that name before, just want to make sure I'm saying it right. Appears to be a touchscreen console of some kind. Converse? Psst. Samantha looks at me questioningly. Mouth the word employer. She points at me. Then mimes cutting her throat meaningfully. Oh, okay. Point to the guard. Samantha shrugs and shakes her head, indicating she doesn't think she can reason with or defeat the man. Point to the door in the north wall. She shrugs. Point to the console. It's a loud car going by. She shakes her head and mouths the word password. Point to the desk. Get away from there. Mouth the word... Uh, point to the privacy screen. She shrugs. She has no idea how to activate it. Mouth the word password. Shrugs. She has no idea. Stop communicating. Bed... The small unwashed medical co uh, cot is spotted with a very familiar looking blood. I bounced myself gently to test the mattress and a jolt of pain ran up my spine. 
It seems that something is banging on the door from the other side. Wait, something's banging? I thought the door was just glitchy and it was opening and closing. It won't reply. Cabinet. It's a large cupboard for storing medical supplies and records. A tall and athletic man, physically in his early 30s, wearing absurdly old-fashioned clothes. Please, who I need. Please, quiet. You can explain yourself to my employer when he arrives. Who, quiet. You can explain yourself to, okay, he's going to say the same thing. What if I just go, ugh? What's the matter now? His condition may still be degrading. The facilities here are very understocked. Move aside. I'm going to check him. Guard. He's a little preoccupied. Oh, couldn't look at him. I don't see any problems. Oh, now it looks at him once he goes back. There's probably something I can do during that. Um, my cell phone? I don't think he would want that. What if I give her my cell phone? I don't think she would want that. Door. I don't see anything interesting. I feel like I was on the right track with that. Probably just gotta, gotta kick him when he's over. Ugh. What's the matter now? His condition may still be degrading. Move aside. I have to... Clearly I gotta do something like this during this. I can't believe the UG actually did something. I take the slip of paper from his pocket while he leans over. He doesn't seem to notice. I didn't see a slip of paper anywhere. I don't see any problems. Paper. I don't think so. Is there a way for me to just look at the paper? It's a slip of paper with a meaningless sequence of numbers on it. Oh, the password, isn't it? Okay. If I right-click on stuff in the menu, it, it tells me <clears throat> what it is. So what about my, my phone? Who should I call? Uh, for the police? Nothing but static. Can't get an outside signal if we're underground. Who should I call? Yeah. Journal, that's just the files I've read. There's not much I can say about it. Okay, my mother always said I had the hands of a pianist. It's pretty much the only thing I can't look at. <laughs> All right, then. Try talking to her. Psst. This is exactly why I waited to play this later, because earlier today there was lots of lawnmowers and stuff going on. And these games don't really have background music, so you would absolutely be hearing like lawnmowers right now, and it would be it would have been so annoying. Yeah, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna give the, the paper to the lady. Mouth the word password. Okay. I palm the note to Samantha, she glances at it, then nods in understanding and pockets it. All right. Um, privacy screen. She points the privacy screen, then at the door in the north wall. Oh. Oh! Maybe we should have uh, let that... Be close, you. I remember you. Uh. Don't look. What's going on? Don't look. Looks like we're loose again. Can you walk? 
Just about. And it hurts a lot. How much do you remember? Look, I'm just a council inspector. I was sent here to run an inspection on the building. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down the elevator shaft when then I wake up here. Could you please explain to me what the hell is going on? He fell to the very bottom of the shaft. You are now within an underground laboratory complex. What do the opt ophthalmologists need it for? Ophthalmology is a front. A money-making, crowd-pleasing facade to disguise the true organization. Which is... A cult. They call themselves the Order of Blessed Agonies. Bunch of masochistic freaks who worship some mad death god. Okay, so why do they have a laboratory complex? Do you mind if I ask? Why were you sent to inspect the building? The, the police told us they received a tip. That the, uh, I mean, the cultists were building something. Since they didn't have planning permission, I had to see if there was any truth to it. It seems there was... This complex isn't documented in any of our records of the site. I think you'd better talk to Janine. I have a feeling you're the person she's been waiting for. Who? The other prisoner. She and I were being held captive down here by one of the cultists. You mean the man who was guarding us? Where'd he go anyway? The man in the hat was just a mercenary, I think. Hired to guard the place. Our captor is still around somewhere. Janine and I only just escaped from our cell this morning. We were looking for a way out when you arrived. I dragged you in here, and the guard found me. We've got to call the police. No can do till we get to the surface. Something's blocking our communications. With the three of us against one man, we should be able to negotiate our way out. Janine's supposed to be finding us some weapons. Binder. I apologize for placing a burden on you in your current state, but I have urgent matters to see to. Yeah, just make me wheel around. Dr. Hardy, what happened to the guard? What was behind the door? Why didn't you let me see? Fine, Janine. Once the cultist is our hostage, I'll have time to answer all your questions. I mean, it's pretty obvious that wasn't actually Trilby. I'm pretty sure they're setting something up here to, you know, mess with my expectations. Yahtzee certainly liked to do that in the third game. I don't know, maybe they made clones of Trilby because they needed Trilby for, like, uh, stuff in the last game. Okay, now there's background music. Let me just uh, adjust it now, chat. I'm super injured, and <laughs> she's just like, hey, uh, can you go find the other person? Been. Looks like it's been used to burn documents. Anything in here? Nothing in it but ashes. Turn it back up. Why? Was it good? I thought it was too loud. Turn it up slightly again. Don't see anything interesting. Can I go through the door? Oh, I can. Box. Oops. Looks like the room was just stripped of everything useful and it departed and departed in a hurry. As I suspected, empty. Completely bare, boxes are all empty. Same with these ones. Yep. Alright, let's try this door. Ooh. Oh golly. Now where am I? Spectacles. Uh, did I not just check the eye? These were are my glasses. They must have been left here when I was pulled out of the elevator shaft. Come on. Close the thing, please. Let's take them. I'm pretty sure this is the same cult from the third game, yeah. The one that was, like, kind of mentioned. 
One of the lenses is smashed. The other is curved out of shape. I'll take the intact one and discard the rest. Okay, so I have a lens. One of the lenses from my spectacles carved out of shape seems to have some magnifying properties now. There's Samantha. Let's talk to her. Have you gotten the weapons off Janine yet? We must hurry. We may not have long to act. All right, so you just stand there doing nothing while uh, we're in a hurry. You just send the the guy who's like just can barely stand right now <laughs> to uh, go looking for this stuff, huh? Oh, I see. They loop around like that. But why was the tall man there? What was he doing down here? And I let him in. Monitor. I think it's a security monitor, but it's showing nothing but snow. The screen has no controls. Touch screen. Try this. Screen seems to be locked out. Can't access any functions. Fuse box. Fuse box. This place must have its own generator. Technology's really antiquated. Barrel. It's a barrel of something. Smells like petrol. Just an injured man gonna go do this. I better not mess with electrics without a good reason. Could be dangerous. What possible use could I have for this? Alright, I got my hot cocoa chat. We're gonna get cozy. It's gonna be fun. Damn, it's already been 20 minutes. Doesn't feel like it. Won't open. There's a security lock requiring high clearance. Alright, looks like that's all I can do in this room for now. Only one of his eyes is covered. It's like a bandage, it's not a blindfold. Okay. Won't open. Must be a security lock. Alright, chat. So, yeah. Let me just go get the weapons for Samantha. Just... Just, you know, me just, like, uh... <laughs> limping along here. No, she just, uh, stands there. She's, she's clearly too preoccupied to go get them herself. Let's go here. Memo. Looks like a handwritten memo held in place with tape. Let's take it. It's that in the window. I'll add it to my journal. Canning. Ensure that the prisoners remain sealed in the holding cell for at least six days. After that, it will no longer ma matter. Do not fail. Canning, this is your chance to redeem yourself for the crime of allowing the or Orzachowski woman to explore the complex unsuper unsupervised. Okay, so six days of sacrifice. There's the title. What if I go in there? Hang on. I, I need to make sure. This is an adventure game. So you never know. This could kill me. So let's just... I literally have no idea how to open it. Well, I, I would start with the handle, but that's just me. Oh, hang on a second. Did the button... I th Did the buttons have a way to, like, uh, check them? I thought they didn't. Let me try this again. Nope, the buttons don't have, like, a thing. It's just door as everything. Hurry! Time is of the essence! <laughs> Appears to be locked. Okay, that's all the doors. Does, can I not go through the door she's in front of? I would assume not, but... I haven't found a character, so I don't know. Don't. You mustn't confront him until we have the upper hand. Get me the guns from Janine. Where the hell was Janine? Oh, no, I meant to hit the talk thing. Dr. Hardy, have you gotten the weapons off Janine yet? We must hurry. I'm gonna have long to act. I checked all the rooms, though. Where the hell is she? I guess I'll check the desk and stuff now. Probably belongs to the chief medical officer. Papers on it seem to be in disarray. 
Burnt paper. That sticks out. Probably belongs to the chief medical officer. Oh, it's the same thing? Okay, well, all right, let's pick it up. How oh, this dude's gonna shoot a gun. I'll add it to my journal. From Acolyte Garriott to Acolyte Derivan. Our preparations are complete. Feel free to evacuate yourself and your staff when you have finished burning your records, but make sure Canning and the prisoners remain. Oh, I guess they weren't going to let Canning redeem anything. Our master will also remain and make his own arrangements. I will evacuate last when I have given the building and complex a final inspection. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, They were... Someone was in that little chamber for six days to be sacrificed to summon the tall man. And that's why they were evacuating the building. Because obviously the tall man was going to be running around. So uh, that's why the dude did not want me inspecting the building today, I guess. That's my, that's what I'm thinking. It's a large cupboard for storing medical supplies and records. Also that music track really did stop sh very shortly, didn't it? It's full of medical supplies. I have no idea how to use. Desk. Anything else I can pick off the desk? All the drawers are empty. Anything else on the bed? I've lain on that thing long enough. Console. Too technical for me to operate. Alright, well, I guess I'll have to scan the rooms again. Shelves, shelves. I gotta look around for the thing that's different. All I found so far is a single lens. I'm not really sure what to do with that right now. Try I checked the trash can already a few times, didn't I? I can oops. And take another quick look at it. Ah. Hear that silence chat? Isn't it beautiful? No lawnmowers, electric saws. As soon as summer happens, everybody in the neighborhood just decides, I'm going to build a fence or, like, mow my lawn seven times a day. <laughs> Nothing in it but ashes. All right. I've already had to, like, change stream plans, like, a, a few times in the last couple days. Because of that, it's so obnoxious. All right. Hmm. Check in here again. Maybe it would help if Samantha told me where Janine is, or would remind me. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know what room. Petrol. Am I supposed to light it on fire? Touchscreen control, probably for the monitoring system. I can't do anything with this, though. Screen seems to be locked out. Can't access any functions. There's nothing on the screen right now I'm having particular trouble seeing. Oh. Use it like that, I guess. Hmm. Try the lens with everything until I figure it out, I guess. I don't think so. Uh, this? Don't think so. I don't think so. I don't see anything interesting. This had, like, security clearance here. Can't check anything more specific here, it seems. So let's leave. You've got to find Janine before it's too late. This one was locked. I can't, like, walk over here any to a different screen, can I? What? Oh my god, wait. I had to, like... Like, click the last pixel of the screen to get over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. It's a panel of numbered buttons. Okay. You won't walk that far unless you're, like, already cl barely clicking outside the window. It's a huge steel door, strong enough to be a blast door. There's a sign on it reading, Central Hub, Authorized Personnel Only. Slot. Keypad. Control panel consisting of a key card, slot, and a single button. Your eyesight's pretty good without the lenses uh, being all the way over there. Alright, let's get over here then. 
Will this be enough? Dang pixels. Wait, too... Okay, it was too high up there. I looped around. Okay, where did they go then? Ah! Wait, I didn't see this door before. I Sorry, I thought you were... Was it locked before? Who are you? Yeah, I think this was locked earlier. My name's DeCabe. Are you Janine? You're not one of the cultists? No. One of them apparently dropped me down an elevator shaft. Dr. Hardy told me to find you. So you met Sam already. We were being held captive, her and me, for the last week or so. Six days, you mean? We were only able to get out of the cell this morning. Oh, that was probably deliberate. She mentioned that. She said you would have found some weapons. Oh, sure. Here. You came from outside? Are they sending someone to help us? I wouldn't know. But they must have gotten my message. We have to take these guns to Dr. Hardy. Maybe we can get out of here. I'll wait here. Why? Please just... Don't make me go out there. Lady, take one look at me. I couldn't face seeing him again. Who? The cultist? No. Anyway, you better get going. <laughs> These two people are just like... No, I, I can't do this. And you, the guy who's clearly, like, gonna die if he gets, like, hit with a piece of paper. I'm running around on 1 HP right here. I wake up with my glass bones every day. Anyways, I have guns now. So, can I go back in here, though? Is it over? Are we free to leave? Not yet. Sorry. Alright, it won't let me check the room. So, I guess I gotta advance story first. All right, save. What does the phone icon do? Who should I call? Oh, okay, this again. Nothing happens. Oops, I keep meaning to go to the converse there. Dr. Hardy, have you gotten the weapons? You must hurry. We may not have long to act against our captor. Ah, excellent. Now we certainly have the upper hand. Cultist is just through this door. All we have to do is secure him in the holding cell and we can negotiate our releases. Will Janine be joining us? No. She said she was too afraid. Afraid? Odd. Well, anyway, we both take a gun. Even a man with two limbs out of commission can fire a gun. Can I now? Turn around slowly, Canning. No sudden movements. Hardy. So this is how your employment ends. With betrayal? Employment? Shut up. If there was any betrayal here, it was when you lunatics locked me up. We had no choice, Hardy. You refused to listen to reason. I said shut up. I'm taking you to the cell. Stop right there. If you point your gun at me, I will fire. Damn you. You never understood, did you, Hardy? There's no point in resisting us. We have God on our side. What the hell is going on? Take them to the holding cell. I will... Uh, who... I am the caretaker. I am the guide. They are only unconscious and will awaken soon. Go to the sleeping corners and seal yourselves in. It is not wise to roam this place at night. But who are you? A friend. Now go. Sam. Sorry, Janine. They overpowered us. 
can't take much more of this. When are they going to send help? It seems they did. And him? Why don't you tell Janine the same things you told me, Mr. DeCabe? I'm a council planning inspector. Someone tipped us off that the Optim... I mean, the cult were building something. They sent me to see if that was true. So you see, Janine, your call was answered. You sent the tip? The council planning inspector? It's almost laughable. But now there's no way we're getting out of here. Yes, there is. We're going to overpower Cannon and make him escort us out. Excuse me. You tried that and it didn't work. We have to keep trying. Will you please listen? I beg your pardon. I fell down the elevator shaft this morning. I try I'm tired in pain. I don't know where I am. And all you've done is boss me around and evade my questions. I want to know who the hell you people are and what the hell is going on. I apologize, Mr. DeCabe, but there was no need to shout. Apparently there was. Perhaps there is time to fill you in now. Sorry. Where shall we start? What is this place? You're in a small laboratory complex under the Ophthalmology Building. Which, as I've already said, is a front for the Order of Blessed Agonies. The complex is laid out around a large circular chamber they call the Hub. They've definitely got something important in there. But neither of us have been inside. What is the Order of Blessed Agonies? They're an insane masochist cult who think pain is the answer to everything. And from what I've seen, they're very creative in the ways they inflict it upon each other. They worship some mad demon god called Chuzo or something. Never even heard of them. I had heard of Ophthalmology, what with all the celebrities that are members. Ophthalmology's just the moneymaker. It funds the true organization, the Order. They hide behind the acceptable front to keep themselves secret. Saying you want to hurt people to purify them causes a lot of concern for the authorities. So, where are all the cultists now? We don't know. They used to be all over the place. They started drifting away soon after they finished construction of the facility. Cannon and the Hat Man are the only ones left as far as we know. It's like they intend to abandon the place with us inside. If they haven't already. Who are you? I'm Dr. Samantha Hardy. I'm a scientist. I'd tell you what kind, but I fear it would go over your head. My name's Janine. I'm a freelance journalist for a couple of magazines. Mainly celebrity gossip stuff. How'd you get here? I was looking around the ophthalmology headquarters. I wanted to do a feature on them for the magazine since so many celebrities joined them. And I was having a little snoop about when I discovered this place. Then, of course, they threw me in the holding cell. Sam was already there. I've been doing a little contract work for the Order here in the labs. Turns out they really don't want anyone to know about the stuff they've been doing here. What kind of stuff? I prefer not to say. She won't tell me either. So you don't want to portray the client confidentiality? They threw you in a cell. That's not it. It's just that I, it was work I'm not proud of, which will probably reflect poor me on me once this is all over. I'd rather take steps to ensure it doesn't get out now rather than regret it later. 
Please don't press the matter. Hmm. We escaped from the cell a few hours ago, then you dropped in. And that's as far as we know. Why are we being held here? Most likely, to most likely to protect a secret. But if that was all, why haven't they just killed us? This track's very low. Maybe they need us for something. I don't like the sound of that. I think only the cultists can answer your question fully. Who is Canning? Is he the leader of the cult? God, no. Before the others evacuated, he answered to a guy named Garriott. And even he seemed to be a subordinate to someone they call the Prince. But I don't think I've ever seen him. Canning is just some low-level acolyte ordered to make sure we don't escape. Personally, I think he's just as much a prisoner down here as we are. I think they wanted to get rid of him for some reason. He's got... He's too dense to notice. He's still following orders like a faith-blinded sheep. Who is the man in the hat? I think he's just some mercenary hired to act as a security guard. You mean, the guy dressed as Trilby? Who? You know, Trilby. The dashing gentleman thief. From those old horror movie serials. The Defoe Manor Murders? Hotel Horror? I don't watch many movies, I'm afraid. Why would a security guard be dressed up as a cult character? Can't explain it. Just ridiculous. They say Trilby may have really existed. I've read some newspapers from around the late 20th century. How is that relevant? Never mind. Who was the man in red? Never seen him before. Not until just then. Who's this? A completely bald man in a torn red robe. He helped us get away from Canning and the guard. Never seen anyone like that. Did he come in with you? No. It was just me falling down the elevator shaft. Okay, that's all. Good. So what now? Now we think of a way to... Oh. What? The door has been sealed with the time lock. We won't be able to open it till tomorrow morning. Who could have done that? Canning? I doubt it. The man in red told us not to roam the hallway at night. Presumably, he's taken steps to ensure this. For crying out loud. I have to get home. I have to be back at work tomorrow. Who cares about work, dude? We're all at in we're all get inconvenienced, Mr. DeCabe, but whining like a child's not going to help. I know it's just I know we should take the opportunity to rest. We can discuss our escape in the morning. Dude falls down an elevator shaft, breaks his like kind of breaks his neck a bit. And stumbles upon, like, a cult secret where they may want to murder him. And he's like, I gotta be at work tomorrow. What about work, chat? What about the office? What about the office? Alright. Let's take a look at the locker. There's a weird kind of locking mechanism I've never seen before. It won't open. Almost like something's holding it shut from inside. Alright, better make a save. I don't want to have to go through that scene again. Bunks. They don't appear to have been designed with comfort in mind at all. Okay, what about this door? Thanks for your sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Oh, and thanks for the gifts up there. Oh, who are you? I was just getting a drink and then this popped up. I'm not gonna hurt you. Is your mother around? Or your father? God, your eyes. What happened to your eyes? Oh. Oh. Welding mask popped out of our heads. Okay. 
Ah, good, you're up. We can discuss the plan. Plan? Door has been unlocked. Our next move will be to take Cannon hostage. Again? If at first you don't succeed. His door is being guarded by the Trilby Guard. It'll be your task to distract him. Why me? The threat of physical violence must be made to get Canning under control. Yeah, I'm clearly suited for that. You obviously cannot make this threat, so it has to be me. All you have to do is lure the guard away from the main corridor, giving me the chance to slip in. How will you know when the coast is clear? Do you have a cell phone? Of course. Take my number. We can't reach the outside world. We should be able to make calls within the complex. Call when you've achieved your objective, or if there are points you wish to discuss. Okay. I'll give you Janine's number, too. I'm sure you still have many questions for us both. Click on the phone in the top menu, or right-click the phone in your inventory to call someone from your list of contacts. This book now. Cultist nighttime reading, possibly. I'll add it to my journal. Twice did the 28th day of the seventh month pass, and the prince gazed with great concern upon the land of technology as the carving of the slave passed through the hands of many, of a great many ignorant men of technology. But the king would not let him take his vengeance. For he said, The guide seeks the carving of the slave and it is through the desire he shall fulfill his destiny. It will not be long before the guide learns that his duty has not yet been completed, and he shall do as I have foreseen. And the king said, So was it so, for the bridge keeper did touch one of the ignorant men, and by their own conjoined hands was the thief wife thrown down, and truly did she know the name of the king. And with this act, the guide said, I see, you know, bridge keeper, I found you, and I've not forgotten. And he came to the tree that was the prince's soul, for it was here that the carving of the slave had been brought. All right. Locker post-it note. Let's take that. It's probably another journal thing, so I just take it immediately. I'll add it to my journal. Instructions for opening locker. You only have to ask. What? Talk to it then? It won't reply. Hang on, let me check that again. You only have to ask. Alright, ask who then? Let's try talking. Dr. Hardy? Uh, couldn't figure out where to turn there, could you? Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be getting the Trilby Guard away from Canning's office door. and preferably out of the main corridor altogether. Uh, I got the guard away from the door. You sure? Excellent. Meet me outside the office door. I don't think that was a good idea. What are you playing at, DeCabe? He's still there! <laughs> we must find a way to remove him on a more permanent basis. Dr. Hardy, tell me about the extent of my injuries. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. Your neck broke on impact. If I hadn't gotten you to a brace before you regained consciousness, and if you had tried to move, you would be dead. You landed on your left side, so your left elbow and humerus are shattered, as is your left kneecap. Oh, God! There's also a hairline fracture in your skull. No more, please. I get the picture. Hey, you asked. Alright, so clearly I gotta get work here. What kind of work were you doing for the order? I told you I'm not prepared to reveal that. I doubt I will change my mind anytime soon. Why are you being so secretive? Why not? We might not even get out of this situation alive. And I guess I'm more of an optimist than you. 
Personally, I'm in no hurry to die or take part in whatever the Order have planned for us. And when I escape, I'd rather the specter of this place did, uh, did not follow me. At least tell me what kind of scientist you are. I told you, it would probably go over your head. Try me. Oh, okay, I'm a biochemist. I was recruited straight out of university by a medical research company. But I was let go after a couple of years. Why? A difference of opinion. I believe a scientist has to be morally flexible in the name of progress. Oh, do they? The company ethics committee didn't agree. Please don't ask to give me any further details. Oh, well I hear there's an opening at Umbrella. They probably like someone like you there. Who do you think the man in red is? I honestly have no idea. Until his intervention yesterday, I'd never seen him before. He seems to be on our side, don't you think? So it appeared. But I'd consider it unwise to trust him implicitly. Perhaps his interests only temporarily coincide with ours. I'm worried about Janine. Why? She said she was too afraid to come out and help us. I agree, it's strange. She seemed to have rather indomitable spunk when we were in the cell. All I can think of is that this place is starting to get to her. Isolation, imprisonment can do strange things to a person. Yeah, like having your neck and neck broken. I think I understand. Where's Janine? I believe she went to the kitchen. All right, talk to you later. Very well. So yeah, let me just get to doing things. You just stand there and do nothing. How about that? Okay. Uh, let's just get the conversations with her done, because clearly there's going to be a lot. Janine? Yes? What do you think we should do now? I'm not sure. Maybe we should ask Sam. Will you be helping us take Canning hostage? I'm sorry, I... I can't. I don't think I could face him. Can't even bear being in the same room. Why? I don't know. It's like the fear comes out of nowhere. Like a punch in the stomach. Who are you so afraid of, Janine? Him. The, the one who's out there. I don't want to talk about it. So you were the one who sent the tip. Yeah. A week ago, I found this place. I sent the tip straight to the police. Minutes later, they caught me and threw me in the cell. I was expecting them to send a SWAT team or something. No offense. Real life doesn't work like that. I can't send in the guns just because an anonymous per person says there's an unregistered basement extension. Sending a building inspector was pretty much all that could have been done legally. I guess you can blame me for getting you in this mess then, huh? Really sorry. You weren't the one who pushed me down an elevator shaft. What do you make of Dr. Hardy? I probably don't know much more than you do. She was already in the cell when they threw me in here. And yes, I've asked her many times what kind of work she was doing for the cult. And no, she wouldn't tell me either. If you want to find out more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. Do you think it's alright to trust her? She's got no more love for the cult than us. I mean, if she's secretly still working for them, she's the most convincing actress in the world. Tell me about Trilby. The character? 
Well, he was the main character in a bunch of horror movie serials, which were based on a series of novels from the early 21st century. But someone sent me a rare old newspaper su that suggests Trilby was a real person. Really? He was a cat burglar, the original master thief. Finally arrested around the mid-1990s. The story goes that he joined some secret government agency. And they encouraged the novelist to fictionalize Trilby so that people would eventually forget he was ever real. And I'll tell you something else. There was a photograph in the newspaper. That guy out there, Canning's, Canning's guard, looks exactly like the real Trilby. You think it could be the same guy? Of course not. He'd be over 200 years old by now. But the resemblance is really creepy. I had a horrible nightmare. Better get used to it. And there's something about this place. Something in the air, maybe. But I haven't slept well since day one. There was this little kid in a welding mask. Welding mask. Had dreams about those, too. How can we both be dreaming about welding masks? Psychic powers? Be serious. My granny used to always say I was a little bit sensitive. Sure. Have you seen Sam? I think she's in the sleeping quarters. Okay. That's all I wanted, okay. Microwave. So the cultists actually eat. That's actually reassuring. Boop the microwave. I don't have anything to cook. What's the note? I'll add it to my journal. Book of Prayers 27. The body is the physical form. It is the sum of what time has made it to be. So it is of the past. The mind is sharp and logical. It concerns itself with the here and now. So it is of the present. Soul is love and hope. It is the dreams of what is to come. So it is of the future. Body, mind, soul, past, present, future. We give thanks for them all in the name of the king. Cushion. Can I take the cushion? Look at the cushion. I think it's a prayer cushion for kneeling. I'm not sure if I should be praying to someone yet. Four triangles forming a star contained in a circle. I saw this in Canning's office. Could it be the symbol of the order? Just to paint. At least I hope so. A table? I guess this is where people sit down to eat. Talk about sorts of things cultists talk about. I'm in no mood to sit. Alright, looks like that's everything. I guess I gotta go figure out how to distract a friend now. Uh, now that I've talked to everyone, though, let's make a save again. Alright. I'm gonna sip some cocoa. So, he's just standing in front of the office, and he's not gonna do anything. Got you! Get in. Well, he actually did something. I'm surprised. We'll see about your friends soon enough. Uh, it's a big heavy metal and, electro and electronic god knows how Sam and Janine got through this. Supposed to get caught? Oh. You again. Destiny calls. What the hell? What? Corpse. Oh god, it's some kind of ancient skeleton dressed in the remnants of a... Uh... What does that mean? There's a huge hole in the back of its skull, too. Corpse. Couldn't bring myself to touch it. What? What? 
So if I go over there, he's just gonna be like, hey, it's you again. Wow, who would have thought he'd outspeed me? Me, who's injured as all hell. Phone, who should I call? Uh, Samantha, Dr. Hardy. Yes, Mr. Cap, go ahead. I got the guard away from the door. <laughs> you sure? Excellent. Meet me outside the office door. What are you playing at, Takabe? He's still there! No, really? You must find a way to remove him on a more permanent basis. Got you. No, I'm pretty sure it's me that's got me trusting Samantha here. We'll see about your friends soon enough. Now, chat. I don't mean to brag, but for an injured man with a broken neck, um, I feel like that was a pretty good job of distraction. <laughs> you again. Destiny calls. What the hell? Disturbance? What is this? That was like smoke coming off the body. Some kind of manifestation of ho er, hovering above the ground. It looks so strange to my eyes, like a black hole in the air itself. Can I boop it? I don't think I could touch it. I don't think it's really there. What if I look at it with my lens? I may need it. It's not a swarm of spiders, it's a disturbance. I think, uh, is there a way for me to lock him in this room? Because it loops around for a reason. Well, I'll just have to have a look around and figure this out. What was in this door again? Wait, no, that's the that's the loop around. I'm, I need to go one door for a war, forward here. There's a barrel there. Can I check this now? It's a touchscreen panel. Check it now. Can't access any functions. I'm pretty sure I distracted the guy pretty damn well, chat. That's just me. Won't open, must be a security lock. So I can't outrun him. That That's pretty obvious. Oh, hang on. Yep. Oh, I clicked out the window. There you go. Big steel door is the, clearly the exit. Let's see. Central hub, authorized personnel only. I'm not very authorized to do anything right now, now am I? Okay, there's the bedroom. What about this door? Can I go in here before? So he's not gonna come get me while I'm in here like this. No, no, can't get me. Got you. Get in. Well, now we wait. We'll see about your friends soon enough. So clearly I gotta do... I think I need to approach from the right side. You again. Destiny comes the hell? Clearly they want to make sure I see this body. Like, what if I have him chase me and he reacts to the body? Maybe that's what I need to do. Like, let me just get ready here to... Like, will he follow me in here? No, it doesn't look like he's gonna follow me into through it through a door. Don't think so. Take a picture with my cell phone. Oh, I guess that's not in the future here. It's funny because it looks like a little flip phone. Or no, actually no, it, it kind of doesn't. It's I don't really know. It kind of weird looking. I think it might still be kind of a flip phone. I don't know. 
Maybe I can take a box with me. I don't know. Let's try that. Maybe I can phone Samantha for a hint. How about that? Uh, I saw the man in red again. He released me from the holding cell. So he knows the order's security codes. No, I, I think he teleported me. That's absurd. I swear. There was a flash, and the next thing I knew, I was in the medical storage room. If he can teleport people at will, why does he not teleport us out of the complex altogether? If what you say is true, it raises many unsettling questions. I fear this man has his own agenda, and probably not a benevolent one. But he set me free. talk to you later. Uh, can I talk to Janine then? That's all I wanted. Okay. Can I take this empty box with me now? As I suspected, empty. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I need to be doing right now. He won't follow me into a room. I can't check anything nearby him. I can't interact with anything in the cell. Close enough. I don't think he's in the mood to chat. A tall, athletic man. Okay, same thing as earlier. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. I'd be no match for him, even if my neck wasn't broken. Alright, then. Yeah, I kind of need to know the answer of, like, the very next step, to, step at least, because I'm not sure what to do. It's, prob it's an adventure game, so it's probably going to be something really weird, and I'm not going to know what it is. Or I missed, like, one tiny thing somewhere. Yep, my neck is definitely broken. Look at me. <laughs> I can't bring him to the other hallway. I'm I don't I physically don't walk fast enough. He catches me once I get like past at least one door away. Hmm, the fact that like the guy teleported me next to the corpse tells me it has something to do with the corpse, probably. But I think I've done all I can do with the corpse. Unless I try talking to it? It won't reply. Disturbance. That's not, I'm not in a talkative mood. May need it. Don't think I can touch it. Couldn't bring myself to. Some kind of ancient skeleton dress the remnants. Okay. Maybe if he fo I, if I have him follow me into the corpse room directly. Yeah, but he didn't follow me into any other rooms. What would make it seem like he does that? Wait. Walk until walk left until the guard starts to chase you, then quickly return to the room with the corpse. Use your phone to call Samantha and say, I got the guard away from the door. Open the east door and walk left to talk to Samantha. Wait, so he only follows me if I specifically go through this door. Really? Like, I, I tested the rules of that specifically so I could rule that out. <laughs> Alright, fine then. Okay. Alright, let me save here. Just in case I mess it up. Okay. I sp okay, don't go through medical. Go through here. <sighs> Alright. Wait! What the hell is that? Uh-oh. The hotel. Oh, God! 
Let me out. Uh, all right. <laughs> that was a little bit silly logic, because I thought I was doing the right thing, but I, I had to do it a very specific way for it to count. Okay, um, call Samantha now. I saw some kind of monster. Calm down. What did you see? He was like a man, but so tall and thin, like, like a stick man. His face was just white, and he, there was blood everywhere. Pull yourself together, Mr. DeCabe. But the monster. Whatever you think you saw, it's gone now. You're safe. I wish I could believe you. I got the guard away from the door. You sure? Excellent. Meet me outside the office door. All right, then. Ugh. I knew it was going to be something silly that had me stuck. Uh, there's just blood here. It's a massive splatter of blood left behind, no doubt, when the garb was torn up by that tall man. I'm not touching it. Can I slip in there? Uh-oh. What the hell was that? Um. 287? Um. What does that say? Something man? Say tall man. I can't make out the top top word. Father, there's the shackles. It's turning into the basement from Defoe Manor. Thanks for seven, there, friend. Appreciate it. Ready? As I'll ever be. Let's go do this then. Doctor Hardy. Yes. The guard's dead. He's dead because of me. You killed him? I led him to a monster. It, it tore him to shreds. It couldn't have been helped. A man died because of my actions. You must not agonize over every little thing. If you did, you'd go insane. You call it a little? No, of course not. We're wasting time. Come on. Again, Dr. Hardy. Aren't you tired of this yet? Your pet guard won't be coming to help you this time, Canning. My pet? I would say he was much as yours as mine, wouldn't you? Shut up. Has she told you about the work she was doing for us, sir? Uh, I said shut up. Get moving. And no funny business, or you get a bullet in the leg to help you along. Go on in. Okay, Canning. Completely at our mercy, and you're going to tell us exactly what we want to know, understand? First and foremost, how do we call the elevator? You don't. The one in the main corridor can only be called from the upper floor by a high-ranking acolyte. Looks like we'll have to get used to each other, my dear. There's gotta be another way up. Oh, there is. It's in the hub. But you'll never get past the security locks to open the blast doors. We will. Because you're gonna tell us how. Oh, this is laughable. You're trying so hard to do it like they do in the action movies, aren't you? What are you going to do? Torture me? You really think I, an alkalite of the Order of Blessed Agonies, would be scared of pain? I've done to myself far worse things than you could dream up. Hmm. So what now? Now we have to open the hub security door. I'm sure we'll figure something out. You mean I'll have to figure something out? Feel free to question the prisoner. I'm sure you could benefit from his knowledge. All right, then. You don't trust her. 
She saved my life. And yet you don't trust her. You wonder what it is she's hiding, do you not? Quiet. You understand so little. All right. Make a save again. He has a permanent expression of self-satisfaction on his face that I find very infuriating. I've got nothing more to say. Looks like you failed, old man. We're loose, and you're locked up. I wouldn't count your chickens if I were you. There are many more to take my place. Okay. Hate to break it to you, but your guard's dead. And the music just abruptly stops. Really, doesn't that bother you? Should it? Do you even understand the situation? Of course. I don't think you do, though. Why? If you did, you'd know that my guard's condition may not be as permanent as you believe. So yeah, I guess once a, a track begins to play for a cutscene, it just goes a certain amount of time and then it just stops. It doesn't loop or anything. Can't you see that your order has abandoned you? This complex is completely evacuated. And the building on the surface too. Rubbish. This facility was too expensive to simply abandon as soon as work was complete. My brethren will return. So, uh, what's the deal with this cult? The deal? The deal is that our order of blessed agonies has existed for centuries. We believe in the true way to purification. Purification through suffering. We practice the blessed agonies of the mind, body, and soul to wash, wash ourselves of sin. And one day... One day what? Nothing. You've got some big agenda, haven't you? This is what that's what this is all about. You're going to take over the world? Like some Saturday morning cartoon villain? I said nothing. Tell me about these blessed agonies. Why? Thinking of applying? Just tell me. I don't see why not. For an individual to be fully purified, all three aspects of themselves must experience blessed agony. The agony of the body, physical pain, beating, burning, cutting. The agonies of the mind, boredom, fear, insanity. And the agony of the soul, which is more refined. It's about destroying someone or something the subject loves utterly, relies upon emotionally, can you do, do this all to yourself again and again? The agony of the soul can only be experienced once. But apart from that, you are correct. This is insane. To you, maybe. But do you know the same peace as I? The same utter contentment that comes with the knowledge that you are of absolute purity? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Don't talk to me about insanity and purity. I've been through a lot of that. Why are we being held here? Surely that should be obvious. You are held here to protect the secret that this complex exists. And why didn't you just kill us? I would have done had I received the order. But I did not. Then what do you want from us? My superiors know. In time, they will let me know, too. What work was Dr. Hardy doing for you? Why don't you ask her? She won't tell me. And you think I would? Well, you were acting like it. Oh, no, young man. This is something you should have to see for yourself. I'd hate to spoil the surprise. Who is the tall man in black? The one with the white mask. I see you've met the prince. You should consider yourself lucky. That thing is the prince? What the hell is he? I'm not inclined to spilling the secrets of the order to an outsider. 
Even if I were, very few Alkalites are privy to the secrets of known secrets known by the prince. Now it's privy, not privy. And even the highest ranking members know only slightly more than I. Do you know who the man in red is? Who? A completely bald man in a red robe. Kind of like your red robes, but all tor torn up. Is he one of your people? I'm afraid I have no idea who you're talking about. All of the Alkalites of Chozo take very good care of their robes. I've got nothing more to say right now. All right, then. Let's leave. Thanks for your sub in there, friend. Appreciate that, Silver. Now then, this area is starting to change. It's going to change again every day, isn't it? Uh, can I talk to Locker now? Won't reply. Let's have a look over here. This man with a broken neck just has to keep going around doing stuff while everyone stands around <laughs> doing nothing. What do you think we should do now? Not sure. Maybe you should ask Sam. Have you seen Sam? She said she was going to investigate the hub entrance. Think I saw the man you're scared of. Well, yeah. Pretty sure you have. What do you mean? I know you probably wonder what scares me about him. But I'm telling you, he just fills me with panic. No, I don't wonder. I don't. Really? I swear. That's all I wanted. All right, then. Man's telling me about, like, agonies while he's got, like, broken limbs and a neck. That's probably going to play into the plot, isn't it? He's experiencing the pain of the body. So, yeah. It's foreshadowing this whole time. Oh, right, I'm stuck on the pillar. That is such an annoying thing. Why would you go up? Come on. Ugh. What's that? I guess it's just a pixel. Hey. Mr. DeCabe, go ahead. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? You can help me find a way to open or a way through the hub security door if you want. Seems that a key card and a passcode are required. Where's Janine? I believe she went to the kitchen. How's it going with the security door? Not wonderfully. As far as I can see, there are two security panels that most be must be deactivated. One calls for a key card, the other a numerical passcode. After that, I think the two unlocking mechanisms will be revealed. Both of which will need to be activated simultaneously. What do you think? In the absence of the key card and passcode, I may be able to force my way through given the right tools. Then again, maybe we could find the keycard and passcode lying around the complex. I'm just considering options right now. Alright. I guess all I can do right now is... Just check everything here. Check all the rooms again and see if something's open. There's a code obviously there, but that's not enough by itself. I can't even... I can't even look at it. How... Uh, like, obviously the visuals are changing, so let me check other everything else. Nope, this is still the same. Nothing but snow. I still don't really have any other items. Just take a look, see if something magically unlocked. Won't open. There's a security lock requiring high clearance. Oops. I don't think there's still anything I can do in this room yet. Clearly nothing's changed about it. Let's go in here. There's the blood... Like, that corpse randomly appeared, so... 
or something else did. Everything's still the same here. Can't check anything. Or he just can't acknowledge. Oh, wait, I can check the guy's office. I didn't even think about that. Documents. It's a stack of documents stapled together. Looks like whoever ran this place didn't entirely trust whoever used this office. Notepad. Top pages are torn off, but judging by the indentation, someone wrote down a series of numbers I can't quite make out. Okay, then. Do something with that. Let me take the document, or the notepad. Just need, like, a pencil and I can do the trick. I've got no use for a blank notepad. Of course you don't. You don't have a brain. Must be the symbol of the cult. A circle containing four triangles surrounding the square. Looks like it's part of an internal network. Looks like Canning left some kind of environmental control program open. Uh... Release level 1 security. Level 1 security released. This function's not available from this terminal. Okay, then let's find out what else I can do. Not available from this terminal. Cycling ventilators. Okay. Reset thermostat. All right. Papers. It's a thick stack of useless accounting reports. I'm not even sure why I picked it up. Wait, the staple may come in handy. I'll pry it out and throw the documents away. It, all right. <laughs> I've never thought to myself, boy, maybe the maybe the staple on a paper will help. This paper looks interesting. Add it to the journal. We live in the universe of technology or the scientific realm where magic is very sparse. Our shadow is the universe of magic or the ethereal realm where magic and magical creatures are abundant. In olden times, it was easier for entities to travel between the realms, hence the old stories of fantastic creatures. The druid Kabadath circa 55 BC created a bridging portal quite easily using a comparatively simple ritual. Since then, however... The background level of magic in the scientific realm has faded, and a ritual much larger in scope is required to transport any entity from one realm to the other. Okay. The ritual calls for the creation and sacrifice of a bridge, a living creature with ties to both realms, usually an entity born in the scientific realm, but later having their aspects imbued with magic. When all three of the bridge's aspects, body, mind, and soul, are annihilated in conjunction, Echoes of weakness ripple through the membrane between the realms and a portal can be opened. Exactly how long the portal remains open depends on the... Uh, uh, puissance of the bridge? Not seen that word before. Everything else is useless building accounts and record keeping. Entirely practical and efficient, like the desks at my office. There aren't any drawers, and there's nothing much of interest. All right. Let's go over here. Okay. So, I got a paper or Not a paper clip. A staple. <laughs> I'm going to pick a lock with a staple. Does he have anything new? Let's find out. Got nothing more to say right now. Hmm... Obviously, I found a new item, and uh, I don't think the lens would have done anything on the notepad, would it? But I should probably try both items on that, just in case. But I honestly doubt it. Notepad, lens. I don't think so. Don't think so. All right. Well, I've done all I can do. I released some security locks, so maybe this is open. No, wait, no, not that door, sorry. I went to the wrong damn one. 
No, that's the bedrooms. I'm on the wrong side of the uh, wrong side of the place. The locked door was all the way at the end. Stuff that was locked was like earlier. That's all unlocked now. There's only one door that couldn't be opened. Well, there was a high clearance door, but we can't open that. One with the yeah, this one, the lab door. It won't open. Must be a security lock. Wait, what? What did I open, then? The only other door that could have opened was probably in here. Okay. Won't open. Then what did I open with the level 1 security lock? can't recall if there was something else I could even open right now. Did anything change? Maybe I'll ask Samantha. I can't walk very fast. Shockingly. Dr. Hardy. Okay, nothing's changed here. I interact with the keypad. Uh, is it 287? Nope. Yeah, it was, but that didn't do anything. Or is that 281? I'll try it just in case, but I don't think I'm supposed to do anything with this right now. Nope. <laughs> Maybe talk to Janine again. I can't talk to the cult guy. Maybe the safe, the locker opened with that security thing. Won't open. Oh, oh, now there's a thing. Uh. Post-it note. You only have to ask. Uh. Does that mean the password is open? I'll try that. It wasn't a prompt for this before, so I didn't think I needed to go to it. Was that it? Oh, it worked. All right. Great password key card. Hang on. I can't believe that freaking worked. It's a magnetic swipe card with the word hub printed on it. <laughs> Close. Guess these are civilian clothes belonging to one of the cultists. I'm gonna take those. Can't fathom a use for them, but you took the staple. You took the staple, my dude. Well. I guess... I should give her the key card, but that's not enough by itself. I don't have the pa I don't have the right passcode. Dr. Hardy, look. I found a key card. Wonderful. Of course, without the passcode as well, it isn't much use. Well, I'm certainly getting a lot more done than you are standing there. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like breaking my body even more by running around here. Slot can I put it in now, though? Wheel. Must be the unlocking mechanisms from the blast door. So stiff with rust, it'll take two hands to turn it. It's not going to happen while I'm in plaster. All right, then. Let me just save and make a new one, I guess. In case putting the key code in early is bad. 
Like it's not going to reset or something. Hang on. Yep, key, key cards consumed. And it stays used there. So obviously I need to use the notepad, but... Th like, it says 287, but I don't... I've tried that. It could be 281, but I tried that too. So that's clearly not the passcode I need. But still, what did... I still don't know what releasing level 1 security locks did. Do I need to do it again because I checked... I tried a different option? Maybe, maybe I should try that. Computer. Is already released. Alright, then what the hell did that do? <laughs> it didn't do anything to the computer, no. I don't know what that opened. Maybe I'll try talking to him again, because I'm out of ideas. Got nothing to say to him. I've got a lens and a paper clip. Sorry, a staple. <laughs> I just instinctively call it that, huh? Maybe there's something in the, um... In here again? I'm talking to Janine? I'm not sure. The console thing? When I tried... I tried to check in that after the fact, though. Didn't I? Refrigerator. Maybe there's something in here. I think I tried this before, right? It's either locked or the door stuck. Certainly big enough to hold food for quite a few people. It won't reply. I don't have anything to cook. Janine, yes. Ah, nothing. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Alright, I'll try the monitor room again. I probably am going to check the cell at one point and he's going to be gone. You know he is. I'm still on day two right now. This one might be longer than I thought. Well, or maybe I'm just in, at the point in the game where things just get, like, really slow because I'm I need to find that magic thing. There's a crack? Is that supposed to be a crack? I can't really tell what that's supposed to be. I think it's something inside the room. All right, I'm going to go try the console, like, the security, the monitor console again. Maybe something's changed there, but I think I checked it. Okay. Oh, the touchscreen does work, but I thought I checked it. Oh, well. All right, don't post all that in there yet. Let me see. Probably for this. Did I not check this? I thought I checked everything in the room. Oh, come on. All right. Change camera. Camera one. Change camera. Camera two. Should check this. I think it's the barracks or some kind of storage facility. Camera three. Large glass tube standing in a row against a wall. Can't make head or tail of it. Come on now. Change camera. Camera four. That's definitely the office I was in. Cannon's office. I recognize the layout of the things on the desk. Uh, oh, download current image. Change camera. Restricted. Um, two, eight, seven. Nope. Okay. Current input. Okay. Same thing. Review input. Oh, I'm going backwards. Okay, I see. This must be old footage. It shows Cannon working at his desk. There's something written on the notepad in the corner of the desk, but I can't quite make it out. Okay. What if I use the lens? That's it. I can make out the numbers on the notepad. 7759. You see that, chat? Maybe this is the passcode for the blast door. 
All right, then. Uh, download current image. I downloaded the current image onto my cell phone. Uh, well, that seems to be all I need to do with it right now, so let's do that. Because it seems like I could probably mess around with that for a bit, and it's probably all, all could be all worthless. Make a save. Dr. Hardy. Uh, Alright, I guess I can input it myself then instead of telling her. Okay, what was it? 7759. Excellent work, Mr. DeCabe. I wouldn't have thought a bureaucrat would have such a head on his shoulders. I hope that was a compliment. And I think we need to turn both wheels simultaneously. Can you manage? It's no use. I need both hands free. I see. We're gonna need another pair of hands. Leave it to me, I guess. Yeah. Let me go do that again. Okay, it'd be faster to go this way then. Let's go get Janine. Or hang on, would it be faster to just call her? We need you to help open the hub. Uh, I don't think I could. You have to. You're the only one who can help. We just, we'll just get it open and we can get out. I know, but what if I run to him? Look, there's no one else around. Canning's in the cell. His guard is dead. Dead? Aside from us three, nothing else is moving, I'm certain. Come on now, this is our ticket out. Okay, I'll be there soon. Ready? Let's get the hell out of here. Three, two, one, go. Doesn't look like an elevator to me. I don't see anything. Wait here. I'll check it out. Do you trust her? Do you? I wonder if she gave me any reason to. I know what you mean. But right now, she seems like our best hope of getting out of here. Even so... There's gotta be a reason why she doesn't want us to know about her work. And I'm not sure we should trust her to go in there alone. Hey, after you, man. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Hardy? Uh-oh. Is she gonna say something? I can't think of anything. I can. We're gonna die down here. Don't say that. We're not gonna die. If we can get back in the hub... You don't get it. He won't... He won't let us out. He won't let me out. You have to stop him. What are you talking about? I see you. I see what you are. You're the one who did this to me. I didn't do anything to you. Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Janine, you're not making any sense. You're mistaking me for someone else. Mr. DeCabe? Yes? I I'm sorry, I. Dying my hair back right here. Leave me alone. Janine. Oh my. I wouldn't go out there if I were you. Night has fallen. The prince is on patrol. What about Janine? She is in no danger. At least, not from him. Remain here until morning. Tell me who you are. Are you with the cult? 
My identity is meaningless. I'm just an avatar. And I have no allegiances. Allegiances. You're not with the cult, then help us get out of here. It'll go badly for you if you don't. There's no... There's gonna be some serious police action after this, I promise you. I cannot do that. Why not? Because that is not how it goes. Oh, give me strength. You seem very confident you will escape from this place. Of course I am. Why? Because if I wasn't, I'd go insane. Why resist? Screw you, whoever you are. All right, then. I didn't know who you were, Dr. Hardy, or what you were hiding from me, but I know you didn't deserve this, and as soon as we get out of here, I'll make sure you're buried properly. All right. I didn't really address the fact that... I, I mean, I highly doubt that Yahtzee named uh, a character Hardy twice, and they had the same hair color. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be related. Uh, related to the guy Philip Hardy from the first game. There's nothing more I can do. Okay. I won't reply. Don't think so. Alright, let's make a save. We're still only on day two. What's happening? Not man. Janine, can you hear me? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh god. Stop this. Stop what? You're the one pretending to be me. Sleep. Day three. July 26. Two days from the big day, chat. The important day. Oh, my head. I don't remember falling asleep. I gotta find out who's in the hub. Or what's in the hub. Before anyone tries to go inside it again. Maybe the cameras? They were restricted, but that's probably it. Uh, ah, uh, ah, who are you? Could you tell me where I am? Y you're, you're dead. I saw you die. Dead? Yes, I remember being dead. But I don't remember you. Y your guts were torn out. Y the blood's still on the floor. Honestly? Huh. Perhaps it's best I don't remember. So, uh, where am I? This is impossible. Are you gonna answer my questions anytime soon? Uh... Yes. I have to go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to click. Wh who are you? My name's Trilby. That much I know. Even that sole fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have... Or had other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar. Yeah, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain that Trilby is my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. That doesn't make any sense. And yet here we are. How did you come back to life? I don't know yet. You do know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. All I know is that I was dead and now I'm alive again. Refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. Y you don't remember working for the Order. Order? The Order of Blessed Agonies. Agonies. 
I remember something. I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some way. In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. I've heard that name before. You don't remember why you were working for the Order? I'm afraid not. So, what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then. Images and sounds. No dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said. And from that name, a few other memories return. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. My hands covered in blood. And in a place that was two places at once. I'm lying on something hard. My stomach really hurts and someone's talking to me. But it's mostly a fog up until the moment I woke up here. So you woke up here. Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. That's where the corpse was. Yes, this is where you were killed. So you said yes. I suppose that would explain it. Maybe you should look around where you woke up. What was your name again? To Cabe. Theodore DeCabe. You've been a great help, Mr. DeCabe. Excuse me, won't you? I'm beginning to think maybe it could be said as DeCabby. That probably sounds more correct. I don't know. No one's corrected me, though, so I've just been saying it like that. It could be either or, for all I know. So this place is morphing even more. Um, did I get the splash screen that said Day 3? I know it's day three, because I woke up, but I don't recall remember seeing the splash screen. All right, then. Let's take a look around this stuff. There's nothing else here. I did. You say it like... The way I say it sounds like Defoe, so it sounds right. I guess. Will any of this change? There aren't any drawers. There's nothing much of interest on the desktop. Okay. Nothing else I can do with this stuff, I guess. I guess I should look around, check all the rooms for Janine or something. Or I should ask the cultist something. Back again. Dr. Hardy's dead. Reap what you sow. Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? You and your whole insane order are accessories to murder. Once we get out, you're going to do a lot of time for this. Your words are like the warbles of a sparrow. The Order of Blessed Agonies fears no mortal agency. We are under divine protection. What do you mean, protection? We are under the guiding hand of God, the King, Chozo. And when he enters this world, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just a brainwashed lunatic. Your words are sounding hollow even to you, are they not? Tell me what Dr. Hardy was doing here. You mean you still haven't figured it out? I'd be disappointed if I even... If I felt even a shred of respect for you. Just tell me. We were allowing her to fulfill her chosen role. In this case, the field of biochemistry. Who can ask for anything more? I'm prepared to negotiate your release. How utterly tiresome. Just answer my questions. Without deviating from the subject. What personal attacks, without personal attacks or evasion or dogma. The promise to cooperate with us. Freedom is too small a reward for such betrayal. You are just a wretched man. 
You can barely stand on your own legs. I have the ear of the king. What's in the hub? Very little. Very little of anything corporeal, anyway. What does that mean? It means that most standard scientific tests would indicate the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But we, the followers of the true way, no different. This isn't helping at all. I didn't intend it to. What's the purpose of this facility? Now, you know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? You're just as much a patsy in this as we are. Now you're just wasting breath. So why have the Order abandoned you down here? My brethren have given me this responsibility as a gesture of recognition and respect. Something you, of course, would know nothing about. Why is the main corridor changing? In what way is it changing? You know, it's turning into some kind of dungeon, I suppose? Filthy walls and floor, blood splatters everywhere. Now how could I know that? I've been stuck in here this whole time. So you say it changes before your very eyes. Are you hearing voices too? Forget it. Your guard seems to be alive again. So you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, more of, boy. Ugh. He doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. Were I not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Shut up now. Alright. That's that, then. Let's take a look at the other doors. I'm just gonna stretch a little bit slightly here, chat. The door won't open. Janine must have locked herself in. Talk to the door. Won't reply. Look at the door. Don't see anything interesting. Well, that's just great. Blood. That's Samantha's blood. By the time she was dead, she had lost virtually all of it. Uh, I'm not touching it. It won't reply. There's a huge steel door strong enough to be a blast door. Okay. Could never in a million years open it manually, even with both hands. Guess I can't do anything by myself here, because I'm... <laughs> I can't even turn one wheel properly. It's so stiff with rust, it'll take two hands to turn it. It's not going to happen while I'm in plaster. Alright, I'm going to drink cocoa here. That wasn't open before, right? I'm pretty sure that wasn't open like that before. Let's go in here. All right, now what do we got here? Lab table. It's spotless. Looks like it's been completely scrubbed clean. Refrigerator unit. I can see some vials of blood and plasma in there. Some lumps of tissue and petri dishes. Part of a complex intranet. So why is there something in here? There's someone in there with skin as white as alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. Is this where all the Trilby clones come from? Probably. A tall, athletic man. Yes. What is this place? Uh, I, this is where I woke up. I've never seen technology like this. Hmm. What year is it? It's 2189. Oh, I can't remember what year it was the last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere along the way. Anything coming back? Nothing from this room. 
But the more I think about the name John Defoe, it's like there's something scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. Something that almost destroyed me. Listen, this complex is dangerous. I think there's something haunting us. It's already killed someone. We need to find a way out of here. And go where? All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed. Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. If what you say is true, you're the one who should be worrying. Could you help me open a door? Not right now. I wish to remain here until I remember something. Wow. How long will that take? How should I know? <laughs> Good God, Theodore is having the worst damn week of his life. Hat. There's something awfully familiar about it. Oh, really? It wouldn't suit me. There was a similar book in the sleeping quarters. I'll add it to my journal. Five. At this time, another came to the tree that was the prince's soul. And this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride. And so he was the prideful alkalite. And the prideful alkalite threw down the guide... And subjecting to the, the guide to the blessed agony of the body, he called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. I'm pretty sure this is talking about the scene at the end of Trilby's notes. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful alkalite would, in his arrogance, interfere with the destiny of the guide. And so he threw down the prideful alkalite, and the prideful alkalite became the puppet and knew the name of the king. And with great fear did the guide take... Up the soul of the bridge keeper, immune to its influence for the bridge keeper, was also greatly fearful, and he hid the soul of the bridge keeper away to a place where it would meet its final destiny. And the prince and the puppet took their message to the order of blessed agonies. <laughs> Can I talk to it? It won't reply. I'm sh I'm not sure I want to disturb their sleep. Maybe if I check the, the this room on the monitors. Lab table. Seems like there's nothing special right here. He's missed a whole two days of work right now. I know, he must be like... He can't take it anymore. Okay... Uh, change camera. So I need a passcode for this. Um, 7759 probably wouldn't work again. Wait, it did? No, I don't think it did. It definitely did not. <clears throat> okay. So I need to figure out what that is then. Change camera. That's not what I'm looking for. I think it was three. Okay. Review input. Large glass tube, stand in a row, can't make heads or tail of it. Okay, nothing changed there. I'm not quite sure what I can really do here. I guess I have to help Trilby remember. Nothing new when I do that. I don't know if there's anything I can even do with these cameras anymore. Like, I already did the stuff. No. Nope. Maybe I just gotta check a random room, and something will be there again. 287 doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know why that's there. Hmm. <clears throat> 
nothing here still. Wasn't anything else in here. Unless I have to adjust the freaking thermostat or something. It's like canning left something, cycle ventilators. Don't think that did anything. Reset thermostat. Probably need those for later then. Maybe I should try calling her phone, Samantha's phone. Try that. What the hell says here? Samantha's phone is still switched on. I'm certain we turned it off before laying her out. Who should I call? Uh, C, D. Who is this? Two. Seven. Four. One. What? I can't. They hung up. Chat, what was that number? What was that number? That's probably what I need for the camera. That's really random, but I guess that's going to give me the number. 2741. It's really random that that's how I got that, but okay. Change camera. 2741. It worked. Some kind of wide circular chamber viewed from above it must be the hub. Strange, from the look of it, there's nothing in there but the remains of some old ruined building. What? Did they put Defoe Manor in there? Like, all of it? <laughs> they just moved the remains of the house in there? Oh my god, they did, didn't they? Hang on, let's review input. <laughs> uh... It's not working. Some kind of wide circular chamber. Strange from look, but there's some remnants of an old building. It won't change, though. Current input. It's not... Dis I don't think it's displaying properly. Two, seven, four, one. I think I have to take... Download current image and show it to Trilby. That's definitely, that'll definitely do it. Hang on. Or is that the tree? Could be either the, it's either the hotel or Defoe Manor. Why would I download it on my cell phone? Would it be easier just to take a screenshot? Is there just a USB cable hanging out of that? I don't think he'd want, oh, come on. That was, I, I'm absolutely on the right track. I guess I could try calling... What? Where are you? I'm in the sleeping quarters. And don't tell me to come out. I don't understand anything that's happening. I don't even remember how I got here. Oh, fu Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Okay. Holy crap. That was almost a freaking disaster. I just, like, knocked over my drink and caught it right before it just spilled all over my freaking keyboard. <laughs> Jeez. I got you. That was a jump scare for me. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. I just bonked it slightly with my hand here, and it just went, like, oh, gosh. Are you all right? Yes. No. No, I'm not alright. Sam is dead. I, I know, but Sam is dead and I think I'm going mad. Why do you say that? I remember Sam dying. I remember taking her to the medical bay. But then everything goes blank. I'm scared. Something happened to you last night. And you were there? What did I do? You were acting odd. Like you were someone else. And you were talking to me like I was someone else. Oh god. I remember. I remember talking to you. But it wasn't me. 
It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew that the thing that thing I was makes me feel so sick. Please come out of the sleeping corners. No. I don't want to. Please, Janine. There's something out there. It's gonna kill us both. You'll never escape from the complex. I don't care. I'd rather starve in here and than die like Sam did. Why can't you leave me alone? I need you to get the hub open again. That's your strategy? It's our only way out. The reason behind this whole mess, it's in the hub. I can feel it. Like I'm being drawn to it. Sam was murdered when she went in there. I know. All the more reason to see what's important enough to kill for. You're insane, and you're on your own. Do you notice any changes in the main corridor? No, I don't. Honestly. Yes. You don't see it transforming. Becoming some kind of dungeon. Brick walls, blood everywhere, dirt floor. What are you talking about? Isn't it always like that? Oh. Oh. Are you coming out? No. I've seen what's inside the hub. You have? Can you show me? I've got the image on my phone. Well, I guess I figured it out. I'm sending it to you now. I see it. There's nothing to be afraid of, see? It's just some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hardy is gone now. Yeah, I see. It's funny, but... When I see this, I don't feel so afraid. Like I'm seeing a place where I can find peace at last. Will you help me get there? Yeah, sure, but you have to come out of the sleeping quarters. Fine. I'll wait for you outside the hub. Okay, so that's one of the doors, then. I need Trilby to use the other... Yes? Could you help me open the door? Not right now. How long will that take? How should I know? I was on, I was clearly on the right track with showing the cell phone. But for the wrong character. So I gotta do something else for him. Wouldn't suit me. A staple. So, I haven't got the slightest clue what I'm supposed to do for him. I had the right idea, but it was for the wrong character, and now I have to do something else. Downloading the phone and figure that out was good. Um, can I talk to her for anything? Oh, wait, no, I can go in the sleeping quarters again. That probably might have something there now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. What? What now? We have to get this door open. Quickly. Talk to you later. So let's walk over here. Take our time. Come on. This should be open now, so there... Oh, come on. This has to be what I'm looking for. It's got to be in here. There's prob there has to be something new in here. Come on. There's nothing here. Cool. Ugh. Either it's locked or the door is stuck. I don't have any new items to do anything here. I don't have anything to cook. She's starting to act like the dude with the yellow hair from Seven Days. Yeah? Oh, you're right. That's a bad sign. So there's nothing new in here. I... Maybe I have to talk to Canning again. Let's try that. Uh, 
Back again. Who is John Defoe? Oh, this is probably how I get the info I need for Trilby. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. It is through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He's all around us. Then again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. Give me a straight answer for God's sake. There is no straight answer to your question. Why do you ask it anyway? Trilby told me the name. I just... It's just about the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore a lost memory. A pitcher does a better job. Oh, a pitcher. I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. I figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing. Do tell. I think she was a cryogenicist. I think she was a genetic engineer. I think she was a cloner. You had her creating multiple copies of Trilby. And what I thought, I when I thought I saw him come back to life, it was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now, the more complex question. Why? What would we need clothes, clones of this particular individual for? I... I don't know. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident. The Clan Brownwin Hotel incident. No. Huh. Forget it then. I am just some guy. Alright, you wanted to know what, what could jog his memory. Here's my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Alright. Because Trilby was some kind of chosen one. They established that in the third game. So I guess I need to show Trilby uh, the, the corpse of Samantha. Can I take a picture of it? No. Okay. Take off the sheet. I think the ID card she wore in her lab coat bore her picture. I can just retrieve it. Wow, that actually worked. Damn, it isn't here. Where did it go? Oh, no. What? Nothing more I can do. She dropped it somewhere. Oh, it's not never that simple, is it? Maybe... I don't think it'd be at the blood stain. I would have noticed it there. Maybe Janine has it? Alright, let's try that. Either talking to Trilby or Janine right now sounds like a good idea. I mean, then again, nothing down here sounds like a good idea. Why? Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID? I just wanted to remember her in some way. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? Uh, sure. Thanks. Alright. I'm figuring out what to do, chat. We're getting there. Let's go in here. Let's head on over here. Poor Trilby, he's just another clone. Looks like there's only one clone left, too. ID card. Take a look at this picture. Who is this? Samantha Hardy. Do you know her? Hardy. Maybe there's something about her face. Could I meet her? She's dead. Hardy, dead. I... Oh, Jesus! It wasn't me! Used my hands, but it wasn't me. What? Sorry, Philip. You didn't. You didn't deserve. Why are you doing this to us? 
Calm down. You're freaking out. I apologize. Some memories return with the suddenness that caught me off guard. Let's my seat here. Nothing that answers why I'm in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it, we can both find the answers we seek. That seems a good place to start as any. Please lead the way. I'm back, Janine. Good, let's... Uh... Ah! Stay away from me. Ah, uh, no. What on earth's the matter? It's him. Oh, God. I'm so frightened. Wait a second. Trilby is the one you're scared of? Of course. Who else would it be, for God's sake? Madam, I don't even know who you are. Why are you so afraid of him? What do you think he'll do to you? I don't know. I don't know why I'm so scared. But I just look at him and I feel like I'm gonna faint. Janine, listen to me. He's not with the Order anymore. He lost his memories. He won't hurt us. I promise. We need him if we're going to open this door. And once it's open, we'll be able to get into the hub. Yes, the hub. Okay. Let's get these wheels turned. All right, someone's going to die. You could just could you just stand between me and him? Oh, we're going to open this door, another person's going to die and then it's going to go the next day. Why isn't it working? It worked last time. Maybe the fuse is blown. You gotta fix it. Please, I have to get in here. Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Yes, me. The injured guy is gonna go do everything again. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look in here. You know what I'm beginning to suspect? I'm beginning to suspect Janine was a prisoner here during a different time period, and everything's just kind of, like, converging together because of, like, the theme of past, present, future. We're making some kind of, like, some kind of, like, Schrodinger's box, Sch Schrodinger's box type thing, where is it the past, present, or the future, but it were sealed in. Oops. Let's do that again, and then take a look. I don't know much about electrics, but one of the fuses definitely looks burnt out to me. So, are we gonna do anything? Uh... A staple? That ought to do the trick. What? Why, why would a staple do anything with that? <laughs> I, I don't understand. What did a staple do? What did, like, an untwisted staple do to that? <laughs> Whatever. Let's make save. Uh-oh. Where's Janine? She went on, went on ahead. I tried to stop her. But she just ignored me. Come on. Uh, hello, gentlemen. What's this? Who are you? We are the doorman. Our task is to stand here, always. Did a woman pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is only to stand here. Not to monitor who goes in or out. All right. All right, then. Are these clones? What? Are these clones of me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yes. Ah. I did consider it as one of the likelier possibilities. 
It explains pretty much everything. Shall we continue? Uh, sure. He's taking this quite well. Are we going in? I I'm scared. You don't know what to expect? I've seen what's in there on the security camera. It's just a bunch of ancient ruins. But I don't know. It's like what Janine talked about, a completely irrational fear. Janine may be in danger. I know. Okay, let's do this. Oh dear, what? Mr. DeCabe, Janine? What? What's going on? Where am I? Theo? Are we in the hub? I think so. But this isn't the ruin I saw. I know this place. John Defoe, this is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Where I thought I destroyed him. Where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him ablaze. But that was just a movie. No, it... Look out! What the hell was that? What's happening to the walls? Oh, no. Not you. No. What? Janine, wait. Do you understand, Theodore DeCave? No. No, I don't understand. I don't understand why I'm being put through this nightmare. I don't understand the things I'm seeing. And I don't understand why you can't give me a simple, straight answer. If straight answers are what you require, then I will accommodate you. The house you saw is called Defoe Manor. It does, however, it does not physically exist. It is a construct of John Defoe's mind, a manifestation. So why the hell is it here? When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. When Trilby burnt it down 200 years ago, he assumed that both were destroyed. But the infection of Defoe's mind clung to the ruins, and to the very land on which it stood, even while his body burned away. The Order of Blessed Agonies built this facility around it. Measures had to be taken, however, to ensure that the infection would not spread. What measures? Let me re reiterate what the cultists ask you. Why was Samantha Hardy employed to clone Trilby, of all people, multiple times? I haven't got a clue. Clues you have had plenty of. Think, DeCabe. Why Trilby? To act as guards for the complex because Trilby's important to the Order's prophecies. He knows the most about John Defoe. John Defoe is scared of him. I mean, these two could prop be the most likely. Because Trilby's important to the Order's prophecies. Prophecy does not shape the future. It merely offers a window into it. There is a more practical reason. John Defoe is scared of him. Why do you say that? Back there in the manor. As soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed. For a wraith, being crammed back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. Then to be shot down and set alight, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of body and mind reduced to ash. Until then, Defoe feared only his father. Afterwards, Trilby was, in his mind, the embodiment of pain. And his mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. Trilby was, from then on, utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it. And only with the constant presence of Trilby throughout the complex could the evil of Defoe's mind be restrained within the hub. This plot is really out there, isn't it? The tall, thin man, the one in the coat, he's the head of the order, right? 
correct? Why does he keep killing the Trilbies? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hardy's fate, I fear, was only the beginning. Oh, God. Is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. Janine? I am the mysterious man that talks only in riddles. No, not again. Ask me, and you will find out later. No! Oh, golly, this ain't good. Janine, open the door. Janine, please. Please open the door. Janine, for God's sake, open the damn door. I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. I know. It keeps happening. I don't even remember going into the hub. You blacked out? I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was nothing. And next I knew I was in that room in front of you. I'm scared out of my mind because there's something. Something's trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's gonna take you over. I'm not gonna let that happen. I can feel it all around me. Watching. Whispering in my ear all the time. Like I know what's going on now. Janine, just hold me. Theo's the broken body. She's the broken mind. And Theo is... Alright, they're kissing. That they, they, There's some chemistry there, I guess. Something tells me not to. And I ignore it. Oh, what are we, what's going on here? Something tells me I'm taking advantage. Okay, it's a random sex scene, okay? Something tells me to stop. It starts to hurt. I ignore it. Evil raging outside our door. We comfort each other. God, this is just... This is like when the characters... Oh, hang on. But Was that fine? Through love and pain. Chat, what did I just see? W was there a dot on that shape? By the sixth day, we both be dead. <laughs> day four. This is like the chemistry of the, the characters in Fahrenheit. <laughs> or Indigo Prophecy. <laughs> So, what is it now? Chat, am I going to have to cover up a dot? I wasn't looking. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to cover up a dot. What are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing? No. Oh. There was? Oh, all right. Now I got to re-render the whole damn thing to cover up one dot. A very minor dot was on one of those shapes, yes. <laughs> Gosh darn it, chat. I gotta put the whole thing through editing software and probably increase the file size and make it take longer to upload to cover up that tiny pixelated dot that <laughs> Yahtzee put there. Cool. It's, it, it's fine on Twitch. They don't care because it's in the game, but YouTube will care. <laughs> it's... What, uh, maybe I should just put a Teddy Ursa all over that entire part of the screen. How about that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So what was I saying? Before I got distracted by, like, um, character chemistry that uh, I was very much invested in. Okay. More like two lines. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, don't worry. All the all the stabbing and blood splatters are fine. Don't worry. That that that's perfectly acceptable. That pixelated dot though has to go. <laughs> there was a dot. A dot on a circular in the middle of a circular shape that made it look like <gasps> gasp. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, what was I doing? Um, I was saying Theo Theodore here is the broken body. Janine is the broken mind. 
And, uh, sounds like someone just got a broken something. Let's make a save. And I think John, either... I think John Defoe is the, is the broken soul. So that's all three things for the, the prophecy. Let's see here. There we go. Risk uploading the dot. No. <laughs> I've tried, I played that game before. And that one's not fun. There we go. So I heard someone screaming. Maybe I should phone her. And yeah, I was saying that stuff about the body, mind, and soul. And then I got distracted <laughs> by that really dumb scene. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Th those characters just going at it was really awkward. It's like when every um big budget movie, just like guy and girl are on screen enough times. And it's like, okay, watch them go at it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No reply. All right. Let's check all the doors then until something shows up. 287... And we're on day four. Cylinder, I'm guessing that's going to be the last Trilby, and I'm going to have to give him his Trilby. And then he's going to, like, show up to John Defoe, and he's going to he's gonna just do, like, a like a trib all over that man. There we go. It wouldn't suit me. Well. And then he said, it's Trilbin time. And then he trilled all over that John Defoe. <laughs> That's probably how it's actually going to end. <laughs> there we go. Now, what do we got here? I wonder if this is open now that the basement's changing. Nope. Can't check the corridor. All right. Check all the other doors. Not man. That's a blood stain. Still hasn't changed. That's still the same. I don't think anything new is here. I still have my lens to do nothing with. Do I gotta go back to Canning? No, I, I should pro I probably have to talk to Canning after that dream. I don't know where Janine went. Wait, no, there's blood on this door. <laughs> Would have helped if I went this direction first, apparently. Canning? Chat. I have literally no idea how to open it. It's Canning's blood. I know it is. Somehow it's splattered all over the cell. Okay. I'm afraid to touch it. That didn't work. It won't reply. Uh, use the lens. Well, nothing I can do here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! She's got the welding mask, chat. Hang on. Let me, uh... Let's make a new save. That door is flashing, so there's probably a reason I should interact with it. <laughs> it's drilling time. Oh! There's some kind of barrier blocking the way, like a force field, but also like something else entirely. Uh oh The past, present, and future are converging. Am I going to enter the spaceship as well? Also, based on what Canning said, at this point, we know that, um... I don't know what direction she's coming from. We know that, um... Oops, come on. No. We know that, um... What is it? Uh, John Defoe's body was already sent out in space, but he's still here, so apparently a lot of good that did. Wait, no, the door over there. It's different. I 
I hope I'm fast enough for this. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you got stuck on the pillar. Wow, that actually worked. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. When I touch it, pins and needles run up my arm. When I pick it up, it doesn't seem to have any weight at all. All right. Okay, she's coming that way. I just gotta go in and out the door. I need to use this on the, uh, the force field, don't I? Or do I need to use it on the clone? Hang on, let's make another save. I'm a bit worried I might get, like, kind of locked up here. Because glitchy stuff happened in a chase scene for me in one of these games. Alright, let's... Uh, hang on, chat. We're gonna take the pickaxe. Is she ignoring me? No, I think I was just, like, uh, on a plane higher there. Alright, we're gonna break him out. Let's go. I don't think so. All right. I know it's for the force field, but I thought maybe. Thought maybe. I thought we were going to break him out. I was going to hand him the trilby, and then he was going to just go, it's trilbin time. <laughs> trilby has to trill her. Yes. All right. Let's go this way. All right. Let's go. So I don't think it's possible for me to reach the other door in there. She comes out too fast to basically stop you from going that direction. You need to get the pickaxe and go here. Pickaxe? All right, here we go. The hole seems to recognize the pickaxe. There's some kind of barrier, but... Alright, it's not working, so... Yeah, it flashes, but then I can't do anything with it. Alright, does that... I think that made her leave? I guess? It hurts. It hurts. I don't think so. It hurts. All right. Yeah, it recognizes the pickaxe, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> When I look at it, there's a feeling like the bottom dropping out of my mind. Can't do anything with it. I probably need to go do something else then. Maybe wait until Janine's close in there. That might be it. Hang on. Let's save again. Try it. Because it made her leave. I don't know. She comes in through the side door, so... Alright. That worked. Oh dear. Janine! Oops. Oopsie doodles. Day five. February third. What? February third, twenty-three eighty-six. This is, of course, our resident celebrity, the Mistopheles killer. Yeah, you remember it. it. Was all over the news. Last year, the EF-5 Mistopheles was relaunched with a skeleton crew of six. The appointed ship's counselor was one Dr. Jonathan Somerset. And he reported for duty punctually and on schedule. Fortunately, short shortly after the launch, it was discovered that the real Dr. Jonathan Somerset was dead. 
Pushed down a flight of stairs, presumably by the imposter who had taken his place. Off-world security was dispatched to intercept the Mistopheles. When his last recorded communication was an SOS distress call to the EF-5 Charisma. By the time off-world security arrived, the man had slaughtered the entire crew. So who is he? His name is Malcolm Somerset. He's the only son of Dr. Er, Dr. Jonathan Somerset. He was a student of psychology at Ganymede University, wanting to follow in his father's footsteps. But he failed the final examination and dropped out. Seems becoming a shipboard a counselor was his dream, and when his father was called up, he couldn't hold in his jealousy. So, why'd he kill the Mistopheles crew? That, that's partly why he remains under psychiatric study. It's a complete mystery. His profile is completely inconsistent with a spray killer. The best theory we have is that he was found out and killed out of desperation. But that doesn't explain the demented creativity, the sheer bloodthirsty relish with which his crewmates were slaughtered. One man was impaled, another was blinded. The first officer had her head twisted right around. Many of the corpses were dismembered and stitched randomly together into Frankenstein-like monstrosities. Certainly not the actions of a man simply trying to cover up a far less serious crime. But let's leave him for the moment and move on. We can, and... Okay. Didn't think we'd be seeing this guy ever again. I don't have a phone. Do I have a journal? No, I don't. It's pretty much the only thing to look at in there. There's a hatch built into it for moving food and small items into the cell. Got tired of yelling at the guards pretty fast. They won't reply. You. I was beginning to think you'd be gone forever. This shall be our last meeting. You'll get me out of here, right? You owe me that at least. What makes you think I owe you anything? You're the one who made me kill my father. I'll encourage you to do what you already intended. You promised me I wouldn't get caught. You wouldn't have been caught had the Mistopheles left the locker alone. You knew about that? Did you know about John Defoe? Was it all part of some plan? I did not scheme it. But I did know it would come to pass. All I did was encourage events to take place as I had seen. You know they think I did it. All that senseless murder. I've been locked up in here for six months. I don't care about you or any of your bullshit. Just get me out of here, and you'll never hear from me again, I swear. I very much doubt that. But rest assured, I'm here to release you. Thank you. What do I have to do? Just use the key and leave by the door. What? Maybe you haven't noticed, but the lock is on the outside. Besides, the guards outside will... I'm not talking about that door. What are you talking about? What door? What key? Who are you? I don't have anything in my inventory. Someone sent me a parcel with no return address. Contains some kind of oddly shaped knife. By the feel of it, it's old enough to be an antique. Blade. Some kind of ancient knife, but with teeth on the end like a key. 
A, door. I don't think so. Wall. All right. I don't think so. It's just a part of the wall, but it feels different now. When I look at it, my hands start to tremble. Oh. Now, what on earth did I just walk into? There was a door there, wasn't there? I don't even know what's going on in this plot anymore. Clown music. <laughs> Those stairs don't look like they end at an actual stopping point for me to get on the platform. All right. Let's keep going, Chad, I guess. Back on the stairs we go. <clears throat> Until another flashback happens, I guess. Why so much strawberry lemonade? I don't know. Somebody is making a big sugary mess on these stairs. Look how bloody I am. Wait, he's turning into the man and- What is going on? He's turning into the guy! try whatever Yahtzee was using when he made he wrote all this looks like the corpse of an old man in the remnants of a suit tied up with strands of muscle and skin the stench is terrible I don't want to go near it this looks like a Resident Evil final boss what happened to you old man I made a powerful enemy. You're alive? Of course. Chozo will not let me die. Who are you? You ask a, com a complex question. The name by which I know myself is Trilby. But I strongly suspect I am not the original. I am probably a clone given over to Chozo as a plaything. Or perhaps that is my arrogance talking. Perhaps I simply cannot bear the thought that the real me would ever be in prison like this. What is going on with this damn game? What is this place? I knew you'd ask that. No one who knew what this place was would ever come here voluntarily. But you're inside the body of Chozo. How did I get here? Last I knew, I was in an asylum. On Earth? In the universe of technology? Then I can't explain it. There's no possible way to get from there to here. Not corporately, anyway. Blech. Who's Chozo? A more appropriate question might be, what is Chozo? Or even where is Chozo? Since it seems he is a, he is a place as well as a fiend. But to answer you is a pain elemental. There were once many of his kind in the universe of magic, small and largely harmless creatures that fed on the petty anguishes of others. But over time, they became more and more reliant on magic until their actual physical bodies were all but completely vestigial. They fought for more power by killing and absorbing each other. Chozo's the very last of his kind. 
a bloated mountain of gristle whose very essence crackles with residual magic. And now nothing but the most hellish torments will sate his hunger. He is the closest thing to a god of pain. You're the one who sent that idol to space, aren't you? Possibly. I certainly have memories of doing so. And you must be the man who found him. How could you know that? After the hotel, Trilby spent many years researching Chozo. He requested a vision of the idol's future from the Ministry of All Cults. <laughs> okay, all right. He was well respected by them and his request was granted. Just show me the future. Whether I'm an original or not, I do possess the memories of that vision. I saw you. I saw what Defoe did to you. I saw what you became. And I realized that I'd seen you before somewhere. But never mind. You want to redeem yourself, don't you? More than anything. Then all you have to do is follow my instructions. Trilby just like, you know, I need to make sure things went, went all right. So I requested a government look into the future. <laughs> okay, chat never complain about Kingdom Hearts after this. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I want you to kill me. And don't pretend you're a stranger to killing. You have Freehorn's Blade. It's infused with Chozo's magic. It's the only thing that can release his hold on me. I want you to drive it into my heart. The nature of the blade will infuse you with energy. Call it my soul, my life force. We don't have a proper name for it. Okay, Trilby's the soul. I want you to give it to the one who needs it. Who? You'll find him nearby. He isn't physically here, but Chozo's observing him. And so he manifests. My life force will still save him, wherever his actual body is. I won't kill you. I'm gonna bust you out of here. Yeah, let's do that. No. Even if you could, I have no place to go. To the pain elemental, time is nonlinear. It sees the past, present, and future all at once. Were I to leave this place, I could end up at any moment in time. Or every moment. Or no moment at all. It's the reason why you and I are able to interact like this. Despite from my perspective being in the 21st century, and you in the 24th, now kill me. Both our destinies demand it. Yeah, wait here. Don't leave me. Is there anything else over here? This game went off the frickin' rails, didn't it? Well, I can't seem to check anything else. Uh, is it gonna work? I'm sorry. None of it was your fault. Remember that. Alright. I got Trilby energy. Wow, it actually is gonna be Trilbin time. Trilby's at rest now. Wait, where did that come from? It's another Trilby, but he looks so much younger and healthier if it weren't for that stab wound. Stab him again? I don't think that'll help. Wait. Wait, am I saving... Is this what says Trilby at the end of Trilby's notes? <laughs> oh my god, it is. <laughs> what is going on? So you felt that, did you? I think I should get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Is that John? I think that'd be John. Well. Yep, I'd say he's dead.
Damn it. We're going to catch hell for this, aren't we? Why do he have to cut his own throat out? Couldn't he have just hung himself with his pajamas like most of them do? It's like he knew we'd have to clean up the mess. Personally, I'd be more worried about how he got a hold of a knife. You and I both know if a freak really wants to kill himself, there's very little we can do to stop them. Can you honestly say he doesn't deserve it? I've got a little brother. Just joined the Navy Medical Corps. Same age as that poor doctor in the Mistopheles was. I can assure you right now that that's not how Dr. Laszlo will see it. Come on, then. Let's fetch a body bag. Shouldn't, like, blackness swallows me. The furious roar of Chozo fades from hearing. I'm free. Free of that place. Free of physical form. The ebb and flow of time flutters against what passes for my body, caressing me like a lover. When I was a man, I was destiny's prisoner. Now I will be her servant. There are men and women who must be guided. I will be the caretaker. Aha. Uh -huh. That's all very interesting. Day 6. July 28th. 2189. That was a... Uh, that was a lot to take in, chat. You could not have saved her, Decabe. But there is still enough time to save yourself. What happened to her? Her weakened defenses allowed John Defoe to crush her personality. In loving her, you tainted her. Tainted? What's that supposed to mean? Just as the past affects the future, so too does the future affect the past. And your future, Decabe, is a dark one indeed. So dark that its influence travels backwards through your lifetime. Leaving an eternal blemish on your soul that worsens as your fate draws near. Shut up. Why can't you ever give me a simple straight answer? Why won't you help me get out of here? You will find the way out in the basement of Defoe Manor. What? If you wish to escape, go there. You expect me to go into that madhouse? What about John Defoe? Enough clones of Trilby remain to provide an, esca an escort. <laughs> they will buy you <laughs> the time you need to break through Defoe's defenses. You must combat the corrosive influence of his mind on equal footing. I'm not, I can't help but laugh at this point. Know him. Become him. Defeat him. We shall not meet again. I wish you luck. Wait. Will you at least tell me who you are? Once I was a man. John Defoe destroy all, destroyed all I had. But a gift gave me the power to see the destiny of all mankind while simultaneously enslaving me to it. You and I, Decabe, are pawns in a game too vast and complex to understand. But a pawn that crosses the board becomes a king. Or at the very least, a prince. Is he gonna... Is he gonna turn into the tall man? Is Theodore gonna turn into the tall man or some crap like that? Wait, what happened to my eyes? Freehorn's Blade is one of the Order's most sacred relics and is said to have been used by the 18th century prophet Jack Freehorn and himself to deliver the 12 sacrifices that enabled him to write the books Chozo. When a person dies, their body, mind, and soul separate and drift apart. An individual killed by Freehorn's Blade, however, separates differently. They leave their body behind while their mind and soul remain together. This results in a non-corporeal shift of unusual ability, capable of strong manifestations, but they remain forever under the command of one who wielded the blade. An individual can exploit a loophole in these rules by killing themselves with Freehorn's blade, which will theor theoretically transform them into an immensely powerful spirit, a magic-infused force of pure will. 
None, however, have yet chanced this. My, why are my eyes down here? I don't see anything interesting. All right. That's... It won't reply? What? No, no. Hands. <laughs> Chat, I... What happened in the last half hour? <laughs> what happened? I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> this game... Oh, it's very spooky down here. All right, um... What, what was I doing? I, I had to do something. Let's just look in here. This is what happens when you have random random love scenes, chat. It's not an elevator anymore. Father. Just check the rooms, I guess. See how I get... Do I have to go back to the hub, maybe? That might be it, but I should check the rooms just in case. This is what happens when you show a circle with a dot in the center of a chat. This is what happens when you show Robertsons in your games. Uh, I don't suppose this will open now, but I'll try it. Won't open. Security lock. Oops. I was clicking to check something here. Make sure this, everything in the stream's working fine. I think I need to get the last Trilby clone out of the, the thing. That's what I need. There's someone in there. Skin is white. Don't think they have any. I'm not sure I want to disturb their sleep. I'm pretty sure you do. I guess I gotta go to the hub again. It's open. Oh, hang on. Let's make a save again. You never know. Oh. Hey, there's another one. Will you three come with me to the hub? If that is what you order, we only do as we're told. How many of you are there? We don't know. When any of us fall, another comes here to take our place. So if you die, I can come back here and there'll be more of you. Until there are no more. Personally, I'm in no hurry to die. Come on. All right, let's go to the basement, chat. <laughs> Let me just take the, tri the three trilbies to the basement. <laughs> it's trilbin time, chat. Oh, all right. There goes one. It's trilbin. Ch it's trilbin time. Yeah. Trill, trill squad. Let's go. When I look at it, there's a feeling like the bottom dropping out of my mind. can't check it. Can I check this door, then? It hurts. Gosh, does it. It won't reply. Trilby. It's not the time for chit-chat. I'd be no match for him, even if my neck wasn't broken. Do I need to find another item? I guess I need to leave. I need more Trilbies. I'm all out of Trilb energy. Yeah, I'm dead now. He's Trilby. He's Trilby. You're Trilby. I'm Trilby. Are there any more Trilbies I should know about? <laughs> Gotta go get more Trilbies, chat. Hang on. Oh, hey, I got more. All right, Trilb Squad, let's go. 
take a look. Oh, there's a glowing item. Machete. Let's take it. I lose one trilby per room. Is that... That paper, is that not in focus? Hang on. What's this? I'll add it to my journal. Lich, also... Okay, a kind of undead sorcerer granted immortality by removing their soul from their body and placing it in an external object. Lich's body is indestructible. It can still be stretched, twisted, and made to feel pain, but the only damage to their soul artifact will cause permanent damage. Wraith, a servant of a lich, a dead life form whose soul is placed post-mortem in a small part of lich's soul artifact, making them subservient. Wraiths are non-corporeal, and like all ghosts, can exert influence over the environments and objects in which they are tied. It should be noted that the wraith's influence and manifestations become increasingly wild and uncontrolled if its soul is separated from its mind. Alright, let's, re let's reload on trilbies. Alright, chat. Let's roll. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Actually, I should probably make another save first, just in case. Let me see if there's anything I need upstairs. Maybe the machete's enough for the hole, but... Alright, let's see here. Oh, great. Three doors. Let's start with the one on the far right. Alright, I need all the items then, don't I? It'll obviously kill me if I go too many rooms without a trilby. chat. Okay. Oh, come on. Let's go now. Let's reset. Let's reload. I don't seem to be running out yet. The trio... The trio of the beasts. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's check this. It won't, it won't, it hurts. And there's the mask, that's the last item. All right. Chat, was Yahtzee okay? When they made this game. I'm just, just, just confirming. All right. All right, I've reset. I've got all the, all the pieces of, on, um, of John Defoe, Defodia. Let's go and, uh, open the hole, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> Trilby Battle Royale. <laughs> Last man standing. <laughs> oh, outfit. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm physically cracking up every few moments at this. Oh. Here goes the last one. Father, it hurts. Should have killed you, demon, demon, child, it hurts, father, child, saved him, father, demon, child, brought him back, no, child, it hurts, demon, 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 go into space, know the name, go into space, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. The king. I killed. What now? No. Know the name. Hold me. The prince. The king. Know the name. No. Father. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Please. The guide. 
Please know the name. Defoe. Defoe Manor. You are the last one. I think so. The others all went into the house. They never came out. Does that mean anything to you? Does that spark any memories? I think the others were killed. When I think that images start to flash before my eyes, Defoe Manor being here feels wrong. I think it's supposed to have been destroyed. In what way destroyed? Fire. It's supposed to have been burnt down. Perhaps you should address this inconsistency. Yes. How? I can show you where to get some petrol. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. You picked a wild moment. I can't even begin to explain what's going on. Myself? I'm not far gone enough to be talking to myself. I can hardly move. Where the hell am I? I don't think so. Darkness. I can't see anything, especially not through the smoke visor. Uh... Can I call someone? I don't think I can call anyone. Who should I call? Samantha? No reply. Um... I feel disconnected, like I'm looking down on myself from outside. I can't see anything. I take the mask off. Can hardly move. Where the hell am I? It's moving. What? Focus to cave. It's not really happening. There's some kind of document lying on it. I'll add it to my journal. Children of the King, rejoice, for the time is finally at hand. Our patience these last few centuries will be rewarded. 200 years ago, the body of the Bridgekeeper was destroyed. 200 years ago, or 200 years from now, the soul of the Bridgekeeper will meet the same fate. These are known as bridge events. Their significance was so great, they sent ripples of weakness through the timeline itself, echoing off into both past and future. On the 28th of July, 2189, the ripples from the past will collide with the ripples of the future, creating an area of extreme weakness between the two realms. If the third bridge event, the destruction of the mind, occurs at this point, the force of the explosion will penetrate that area of weakness and form the bridge between the realms. Over this bridge, the King Chosa will come. He will come to save us and all the men of technology from sin. We must, however, be alive to enjoy this new age of per perfect purity. And so, it is important that the complex and ophthalmology building be evacuated at least one week prior to the bridge event. Oh. Oh no. It's a bomb! There's a enough nano-explosive here to atomize the county. Atomize the county. Okay, then, let's make another save. Let's do that. Look at it. It's a time detonator hooked up to a huge pile of super dense nano explosive. I read about this stuff. It's a nuclear blast without radiation. All it needs is a little heat to set it off. Uh, can I leave? How about I do that? How about I leave? Why is there a bomb here now? I don't think I can leave. No, I have to do something about the bomb. I don't think so. Talk to it. Won't reply. I don't think so. Well. Nothing for it. I've got to try and disarm it. Wait a second. The bomb's already been defused. The wiring under the control panel's been ruined. As long as it's not damaged, this thing isn't gonna explode. Alright. 
So I'm like... Um... All right then, it's 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 not going to explode. Shit. Uh-oh. <gasps> he set the place on fire, Trilby. No. No! in there, friend. I'm just very confused at the moment. Six days later. He really did troll all over everything. You're watching UCBC News. Investigation continues in the circumstance results in a nano-explosive detonation in the county of Buckinghamshire six days ago. The blast completely demolished the ophthalmology building, which had been purposely evacuated beforehand, and several lead ophthalmologists are being held for questioning. Although the detonation has not yet been found to have caused any loss of life, two individuals last seen in the area have been reported missing. Open the thing here. And environmentalists are already calling this the biggest ecological disaster in the entire history of the country. The investigation continues. As an avatar of destiny, I cannot judge. I cannot afford to question events, only encourage them to take place as history demands. And yet I wonder... I wonder why the Order of Blessed Agonies expected Chozo to enter this universe. After all, a creature so dependent on magic could not possibly survive in a world where there is none. The prophecies were wrong. Freehorn, the Order, the tall man himself, all deliberately misled by the pain elemental. But why? For what purpose was the bridge really constructed? It was open for mere seconds. Nothing came through the eth came from the ethereal realm. So did Chozo's plan simply fail? Or was his intention not to send, but to receive? None of this matters. I led to cave to the destiny demanded of him by the timeline. Now I must wait. Two centuries from now, my younger self will require my guidance. The eternal cycle must be set in motion again. And while I do not judge and feel no regret, I find that I do not relish this task. All right, then. He ended up there. Is he finally... He's killing the tall man. No. Oh. Dio became whatever that is. My king, it hurts. Protect him always. All right. Yeah. Uh, hi, Trilby. Is that the last one? The guide. It hurts. It hurts. Arrogant man. Take his place.
Mm-hmm. I don't think the tall man took over Theo. I think Theo is replacing the tall man. And the arrogant man knew the name of the king. Book of the New Prince. All right. Well then, um, does anyone want to tell me what the hell I just played? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell happened to Deed? There was supposed to be dialogue there. What happened? I missed something? I didn't click anything. Alright. Alright. That whole thing, all those games, all those events, was specifically for a pain elemental in another universe to replace a servant? There were going to be more testers here, I didn't have time. And there's the trophy clones. <laughs> okay. Something off of goons. All right. All right. That was a uh, game. And there's the idol burning up. I don't think there's any other endings now. The end. Only the one ending? Alright, um... Just, uh... Just a tad bit confused, chat. There's nothing... Okay, there's nothing back here if I really just go here. I can just click out the game. Alright. So that was, uh... <laughs> that was... Six Days of Sacrifice. That was the end of the... <laughs> the end of the four games. Um... <laughs> can't believe there were a tr trill billion downloads of this game. This, uh, yeah, um... This one definitely took a... Suddenly took, like, a big different direction. I thought you were, you were going to say six days of trophy. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just... I'm sorry, but, like, just thinking about how absurd it suddenly got, like, I, I keep laughing. I'm honestly just really laughing a lot. I don't know. Um. Like, I, I guess, like, it made sense in a weird way but it just got like really absurd just very fast all of a sudden and it just like it just was making me laugh a lot <laughs> it kind of just like was all over the place and it's just like it was set up in a way where obviously it feels like he had some planning and hints towards where it was going but it's just kind of like what like the guy from like the guy from seven days suddenly becomes like this like time traveling monk that fulfills destiny and he also pushed himself towards like killing his dad and 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 theo is uh theo is like uh john defoe but not really i'm confused <laughs> i'm s like really confused um i'm sorry but the the most absurd thing was the what was the guy from Seven Days coming back as a time traveling Destiny monk? I'm sorry, but that was so funny. Like that was just so absurdly funny. I love it. And then the fact that there's just a bunch of clones of fucking Trilby. That's just really hilarious to me. Like I'm, I I can barely contain my laughter for some of this. It's saying it out loud. It's just pretty funny. I mean. I think the only saving grace is that the real Trilby probably had a decent ending with his life. Everyone else in this series did not have a good time. 
<laughs> Everyone else in this series had a really bad time. So, why did the, the why did the Chozo guy? Why did he do all this? Like all of this was just to get someone to replace the tall man. It's like why? <laughs> Another game, hundred clones of trophy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, I'm not even really sure what to say about it. Other than that, like, in the last half hour of the game, it was just like, hey, the, the guy from this game is now a time-traveling Destiny monk, and I'm just, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Are there more games that explain things? I'm not really quite sure. Actually, hang on. I can just close this here. Yeah, I can close this and just put, I should close this and just put up the teddy bear horror screen for a moment. No, I don't have to, actually. It's fine. When did we get the Trillbinator when he comes back from the past to stop all of this? <laughs> yeah, we needed that. All right, though. All right, chat. That was the end of the series. I I really don't know what, to, what else to really say. It was certainly an experience it was certainly entertaining like i could definitely say i was inter i was thoroughly entertained the whole way through except the part where i have to like edit out that that uh dot on that robertson <laughs> draw teddy and a trilby for an emote <laughs> oh you could you could if i have the space all right chat but that's the end this is where we should end it because it's actually very late for me because i did an evening stream it's all right we're going to stop now. I hope you all enjoyed this series. I imagine the comments are going to have a lot to say about this one. <laughs> Anyways, so have a good night. Bye-bye.